Look at that moron over there. What a show off. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't see you walk up. Can I help you? So I take it you saw the game then, if you're here? Are you a fan of the team? Probably another one of those head over heels for my brother. What a joke. Shit. You weren't supposed to hear that. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. You're the person who's been at all our games, right? <laughs> yeah, you are. I remember your face. I'm sorry, that came out wrong. I just mean that you're usually the loudest one cheering in the gym. It's hard not to notice. Although, <laughs> I know that Atsumo got pretty upset when you called out during his serve that one time. He can be a bit of an ass. I don't know why everyone fawns over him. He says anything to you again and I'll beat that scrub's ass, yeah? If you ask me, I think that your cheers helped us play better. It really motivated us to push ourselves harder. Huh? You... this is a confession? You're confessing. To me? You're not just saying that to get close to my idiot brother, are you? Not being dared to do this? Fingers not crossed behind your back or something? Holy shit. This has never happened before. Oh, uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, an answer. You know what? Sure. Kita was saying I needed to take the opportunity when it came around. So, yes. I would like to go on a date with you. Just don't let my idiot brother hear about it. I don't need him making such a big deal about something that doesn't involve him. Ah, oh, shit. He's looking this way. Come on, follow me. Don't worry. There's too many people blocking his way for him to follow. I swear, there's nothing more he loves than his popularity. Except maybe bothering me. <laughs> That's a lie. He loves himself more than that. I'm not mean to him. Siblings fight all the time. Okay, maybe not this much, but come on, he's so annoying. Not to mention, he's much worse at home. I'm not kidding. He's a total pig. You're laughing. No, no, it, it's not bad. It's cute. Oh. I'm sorry, that was probably a weird thing to say. I'm not really used to the dating scene. Everyone's usually so invested with my brother they don't even look my way. But you? You came out of nowhere and changed that. <laughs> I will admit, I, I'm nervous as hell right now. But I'm also excited to see where this goes. I suppose the best thing for me to do in this situation is ask questions about you, right? Hmm. So, what do you do in your spare time? Oh, really? You seem like the type to really enjoy that now that I think about it. Not all hobbies are for everyone, but I love how passionately you spoke about it just then. <laughs> you seem like a very passionate person. I could tell that much from how loudly you always cheer us on. For me, it's not all about volleyball. 
I'm not my brother. I actually really like cooking. Oh? Well, maybe we can cook together sometime then. I really like making onigiri, if that piques your interest. <laughs> All right. It's a date then. You can come over to my place if that's easier for you. I already have all the ingredients. Only issue is Atsumo will be there. Ignore him, though. He'll probably just try and take your attention away from me. Sorry, I... I got a little carried away there. I just really like onigiri. And the idea of you making it with me? It actually makes me feel real giddy. <laughs> the fact that you actually like me is still... Well, I, I don't think it's quite sunk in yet. It's not every day that you have someone so... cute confess their feelings for you. And if I'm being completely honest, it was a really big mood booster. I was getting really sick of my brother's antics. And then you walked up and you took my mind off it. Thank you for that. <sighs> you know how I said earlier that I noticed you came to all our games? I've actually wanted to approach you and talk to you for a while now. I've just been too nervous to admit it. <sighs> I was going to after our last game, actually. The, uh, the, the one before this one. The one against Fukurodani. I would have, too, if my idiot brother hadn't stopped me. He got it into my head that I didn't exactly have a chance, the smug bastard. Said you were one of his fans, and that's why you came to every game. It completely obliterated my confidence we got into a pretty big fight about it. Let's just say Kita wasn't too happy about it. We got stuck on cleaning duty for a week. But I'm so glad you came up to me today. I already like spending time with you. You have a positive attitude. It's something I've noticed I lack at times especially when I'm always compared to Atsumu. It's like I'm always in his shadow or something. <sighs> He's most likely going to continue playing volleyball after high school ends, and that's not something I want to do. It's not that I don't enjoy playing. It's just not what I want to do for the rest of my life, you know? Oh, it looks like team has started packing up. I should probably go help him with that. But here. It's my number. Send me a text later and we can set up that onigiri date, yeah? Oh, and if you're not too busy, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Visit patreon.com slash anagomi for exclusive audios and commission your own at anagomi.com slash commissions. Can't wait to see you again. <laughs>